Hello and welcome back to another episode of LMS Cast. My name's Chris Badgett, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about when you need a custom membership site, online course, or learning management system, development, and design services. Wow, that's a mouthful, but we're going to cover all that in this show, and we have some special guests with us. But before I introduce them, just so you know what you're going to get in this episode, is we're going to talk about really what custom development services are, why you need them, how they should start with something we call a discovery process, who's it for, who's custom development not for, and how to pick a company. We're also going to get into the story of Codebox and Lifter LMS and LMS Cast and how these three different things all tie together through a common story. But first, let me introduce two of my favorite people. Got uh, Mark Nelson, who was the original lead developer behind Lifter LMS, and he is also an all-star develop- developer in the custom development services arm of Codebox, which is the company that makes Lifter LMS. How are you doing, Mark? Fantastic. How are you? Good to have you back on the show. It's been a while. And yeah. we've also got Allie Mathis. <laughs> Ali has been with us for a long time and helping out over on the client services side of Codebox and has been involved in a lot of custom development projects, uh, very large projects, medium-sized projects, figuring out what kind of projects it's going to be from a project management perspective and also just helping kind of co-create the project, which is a big part of uh, what we believe at Codebox, we're big believers. Part of our brand is that we co-create our projects together with the client. So more heads are, are better and lots of different perspectives. So thanks for coming on the show, Allie. Hey, Chris. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's start out with the, the story of Codebox and Lifter LMS and LMS Cast. So if you're listening to this episode, you are an LMS Cast listener. We started this show back in, I believe it was uh, February of 2014, when we were originally getting ready to launch the first version of the Lifter LMS software. So this show is designed to help education entrepreneurs, membership site owners, learning management system administrators to kind of see the landscape of uh, what's possible out there and to have conversations around the topics and issues that we run into. I'm, uh, you know, the, one of the owners of the Lifter LMS project and the Codebox business, but I also create and sell online courses myself, which is why uh, one of the reasons I created this show is to help other people like me uh, figure out the best options and to even find out about things that I should be caring about, but may not even be aware of. So Lifter LMS is a, it's a business by itself, but it, the parent company that makes it is called Codebox. And you can find Codebox at gocodebox.com. And we're going to give you some other cool URLs that you should look out on that site a little later in the show. But that's how Codebox, Lifter LMS, and LMS Cast all fit together. Lifter LMS is more of a product, whereas Codebox is our client services and custom design and development services. So that's kind of what makes us unique in the space and somewhat well-rounded is not only do we, you know, make online courses or care about LMS projects and membership sites ourselves, we create products in that niche, like with Lifter LMS and our various add-ons, and also do this uh, as a service for other people who may need more than just online courses or need to build other software on top of their learning management system or need just some kind of custom user experience where they can't create it out of the box. So that's the story of Codebox, Lifter LMS, and LMS Cast. And we're going to get into, in this episode, we're talking about picking and figuring out when and if you need uh, custom design and development services. We're going to get into that in just a second. So we're going to get into how to go about doing a custom development project. So you've got an idea, you know you're ready to create an online course or a membership site or an LMS, and you're, 
you, you've decided that you're ready to go the custom route. There's not an off the shelf solution that uh, solves all your problems. So we do something a little differently. And to be honest with you at Codebox, we hear a lot of what we would consider, I don't know, horror stories or people basically coming from a bad experience with a web development or design agency. So we kind of start off like needing to earn that trust back. Um, so we, we feel you and we know what it's like if you've been, you've been trying, you've hired freelancers before, you've worked with agencies uh, and you left with not necessarily the best experience. But what we do that's totally different is we like to slow things down and start off with what we call the discovery process. So just like building a house, uh, you can get a cookie cutter house in a subdivision or if you want to really design something truly unique and, and do exactly and look, uh, look in a way that you really want it to look, you're going to need to have some custom uh, engineering or architect type thing in the beginning of the project. That's the nature of custom. So if you're not cookie cutter and you're not using something off the shelf, it's, in, it's really important to invest that time in, in discovering the the project and what it's going to be and unpacking it and, and leveraging the expertise of the experts. So we want to talk a little bit about what's possible if you go through the code box discovery process. So I'll hand it over to you, Ali and Mark. And again, Ali is one of our all-star project managers at Codebox and has worked on custom development projects with us for a long time. Mark here is an all-star developer and one of the original architects of the Lifter LMS product um, that we have as a, as a sub-business under Codebox. But what, what do people get when they, if, if you're watching this and you're, you're thinking in your head, what do I get if I invest in this discovery process? What are the big, what do I get and what are the benefits? Well, you get a plan. So a lot of times people come to us with an idea and the and the discovery process is really intended to take someone's idea and come out with a plan. So you have your idea for the website, you have an idea for how it wants to work, you have an idea for the custom functionality that you're looking to get. And then over a series of weeks, we meet with you, we revise your idea, we work with you to vet out the possibilities of your idea, help you come up with new ideas, um, help you refine your idea to be even better than what you initially had, and then in the end, you walk away with a solid plan on paper that outlines your idea. And it's no longer just an idea. Now you actually have a plan. Whether or not we carry out your plan, that's up to you. But that's part of the discovery process is helping you refine that vision. And it's, uh, just to add on to what Mark said, it's not even just a plan, but you also walk away with a site map. Um, and that's one of our key deliverables that we promise. Um, and if you do go forward with the project, the, you know, the cost of the discovery is actually applied to the overall project cost. So it's a really good investment um, in making sure that you're able to get um, the best, you know, the best product and help us deliver the best product. Absolutely. And that's the other thing where we're different is a lot of other agencies or companies would uh, you know, want to, you know, throw out a number and just start right away, but we can't actually responsibly give you an, a financial estimate on how big the project's going to be, how long it's going to take, how much it's going to cost until we go through a proper discovery process. That's not something that can be done with a quick 15 minute sales call. So it's really important to invest in that piece. I think a lot of people can be in intimidated by the term discovery process because it sounds like such a big, you know, they just want a number for how much their project might cost. And that sounds like, you know, such a big investment of time. But, but we really have it um, kind of broken down to, to a science. We do it in three, uh, two to three phone calls. Um, and in the first call, we really learn about you and what you want to build. Um, and in the second phone call, we kind of reflect that back to you and show you um, some some wireframes and, and the site map and make sure that we are all on the same page and then by the third call we're ready to discuss you know the scope of the project and the timeline for the project mm -hmm. that's awesome and if I could throw a metaphor out there a lot of us uh, who have a project when we come we have a vision or an idea in our head but it's really important to build a foundation under castles in the air as I like to say because 
by going through the discovery process, you, we can uncover the details that maybe haven't been thought about yet. You're mm -hmm. leveraging our expertise, having done lots of projects in the membership site, the learning management system, the online course, and other different niches in web development. We have a lot of experience in e-commerce, uh, integrating with other third-party software through APIs and things like that. So you get to leverage our expertise and we can help really define all the pieces that go into building that house or that web property. So yeah, absolutely. And I, I think another thing to mention too is that we also take a, you know, a value stance in the sense that we're looking for the value that you're going for in your platform. And we understand that you're, we want to use web development and design and software and tools to solve business problems. So we're, we can speak to you on both sides and we understand where you're coming from as an entrepreneur, a business owner, an expert of some kind. So what we do is we help build that bridge from your business problem or needs into the, the technical system that's going to help support and solve that. And then we do it in a visual way so that um, we can kind of orient you of exactly what you're going to get and then also in a line item way so that you can understand how big and what are the cost of the various features to implement. Mm -hmm. And the, the discovery process is also a really good time for us to get to know you better and, and learn how you like to work and how we like to work. Um, so that when we do start the project together, um, we're all really familiar and comfortable with each other. Absolutely. So I'd like to say, if you're watching this, I, I want you to know like who the discovery process is not for. We'll get into who it's for, but who it's not for, uh, there's a couple things that come to mind for me is, one is if you don't have a budget. If you don't have a budget, you're not at a place where you're really ready for custom development. So you need to work with off the shelf tools or and try to get your, your MVP, your minimum viable product or your phase one, do it yourself project off the ground. You're not quite ready for the, uh, the custom build. So it's important to, to know where you're at on that journey. Also, it's not really for what I would call online or business beginners. And what I mean by that is where Codebox really shines is we help take already successful entrepreneurs to the next level. And what I mean by that is that doesn't necessarily mean you may be successful offline and you're just trying to bring your business online. So that's the way we help take you to the next level. Or perhaps you're already online, you've gone through the hard yards and you built your project a couple of years ago or this year or five years ago, but you're really ready and now you see the value in hiring a professional to help you do that and you're, you're looking to grow to that next level. So that's, that's another thing. And, and the other thing is um, technology over time is becoming more and more approachable and the tools are out there for people with non-technical skills to get, to get in there and start messing with things like WordPress or plugins or hosting accounts and things or, but th this service is not for the do it yourselfer. It's true that we don't build any block black boxes that you can't work on and maintain in the future, but this is for someone who's ready to leverage the power of a team and programmers and developers and designers and let those strengths come from the, the people who have been doing it for quite some time. What else would you, would you guys add? Who is a code box discovery process not for? Hmm. Well, that, I mean, what you said is really true. It's not for people that are doing it themselves. Um, if you're if you're doing it yourself or you don't have a budget, then you have a hard time getting and collaborating and building out a solid plan. I think it's definitely not for the. Uh, the small business that doesn't really know what they want at all. I think if you come to us and you just want to get online, we can, we can help you do that, but we really want you to have something that you're trying to do. So we really want to take you to the next level, take your business model and move it online or take your existing system that you had built and move it to 2016, make it, better than everybody else. We like to make people exceed better than the expectations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And really, who, who is the code box discovery process for? Uh, it's the opposite of that. It's for folks who have a working budget, who 
um, who are have some kind of success already and they're ready to kind of go to the next level. Um, and then the, the values, the time savings and the ability to leverage the expertise of the experts. That's who the code box discovery process is for. And also I just want to add that um, one of the questions we get is like, how much is the project going to cost? Uh, well, we don't know. That's the purpose of the discovery process. So when you invest in that, we're actually able to give you a concrete number that we can work with, but we can't do that before we go through the discovery process. And I would add that most people that tell you that they can do that without really understanding the project are probably wrong. <laughs> Right. It's, it's it's really important to to really understand what you're building, um, you know, and and have more than a 15 minute phone call before you know getting a number to work with. Yeah, it's just it's it's important to us to scope it out as it is for you, and that's through that we've learned that from doing custom development for years and years. You have this is the best way that we've found that we can sit with you. We can come up with the plan, we can understand you, we can understand your budget, and then we can come back to you with what we can do within that budget. And it, it's really beneficial. We've never seen anything that works as well as the discovery process as far as coming up with an accurate budget and timeline for your project. Right, and that's what I was just gonna um, add to what Mark was saying is that it's not just about um, a number, but it's also about a timeline because that's another thing that you know you're worried about is when is my project going to be completed? You know, I have this big idea, but I, you know, I'd like to launch it in 12 weeks. Is that possible? And and the discovery process really helps us answer those questions. Absolutely, and like we mentioned a little earlier in this video, is that sometimes people have experience where they ended up at odds with their web development. Or design agency and a lot of times that comes from just not having gone through the discovery process whereas with us we end up with being known as long-term technology partners we have mm -hmm. clients who have been with us for years it started out with a discovery process we built whatever the web property or the application or the website that we were building and then you know these clients keep coming back and asking for more and you know taking their business to the next level with more and more projects and so on so we we want to be seen as a long-term technology partner and uh you know in order to do that properly we need to have that or do our due diligence with each other and leverage each other as best we can in the beginning with that discovery process and we use the same process model for our current clients the clients that have been with us for years they come up with a new feature that they want to implement and we make them bet it with us Sometimes they walk away and decide that it wasn't a good feature. It doesn't really fit their model or it's just, it's just completely out of scope of what they want to do and they end up walking away with a different idea. Sometimes we vet it out and it's perfect and that way we can execute exactly what they want. One of the big things with discovery in general, whether you're already a client or you're thinking about becoming a client, is we want to make sure that what we build you is what you wanted or mm -hmm. more so what you needed. So sometimes you think you know what you need that through the vetting process, you actually re refine and figure out exactly what you need. And then when we build it, you're not surprised. And that's something that I've seen throughout my entire career in development. And it's one of the, the most common issues that you see is you come up with a great idea. You talk about it really quick. The developer goes and builds it. And pretty soon it's not really what you wanted, or it might be what you initially wanted, but it's definitely not what you needed and it doesn't work the way that you intended it to. Right, it's all about expectations. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And we're also flexible, like, like you were saying, Mark, if a project needs to change on the fly or the, the, the scope needs to, to be adjusted, we can absolutely do that. We don't get locked in, because we know that as projects evolve and, and deploy out that some things might change. Some things may become more important, less important, or need to change. And that's okay. And we can work with that as technology partners. Yeah. I think from a project management standpoint, the discovery process isn't a waterfall system. It's just a way to refine the idea before we get started. We like to approach development, the, the entire development process ad, from an agile perspective. Right. We like milestones. We like to do small implementations and refine that and work with you. So even what we came up with in the initial discovery might not be the final project, and that's only because through the development process, new ideas, people came up with new ideas, things are refined, and it's just changed slightly. 
but but that initial discovery process is still incredibly important because it at least gets us all on the same page we define the scope of the project everybody understands what we're trying to achieve and it, i've never seen it go from the goal the goal never changes pieces might change but the overall goal what we've solidified in the discovery process is what you come out with Absolutely. So if this is resonating with you, if you'd like to find out more about a discovery session with Codebox, go to gocodebox.com forward slash discovery dash session. And you can easily get there if you just go to gocodebox.com. And you'll find this video there if you're not already there. And then below that or beside it, you're going to see two buttons. One where you can go ahead and purchase and invest in your discovery process and get on the schedule and get things rolling. Yeah. And the other option there is going to be a button or a link where you can schedule a call, a, a quick call to kind of talk about it or, or figure out what your questions are that need to get answered about the discovery process before moving forward. So again, go to gocodebox.com forward slash discovery dash session. Uh, but we're not done. We're going to keep going here. We've got some more information for you about the discovery process. And that is just to tell you a little bit about the Codebox brand and what we're all about. And really, not all agencies or, or companies or freelancers are the same. Uh, so there's some different things that make us unique. And why you, need, you should consider possibly working with us compared to, let's say, trying to outsource your entire project uh, overseas to a, a different country where there's a you can, you can find um, lower cost help. There's, there's some great people all around the world in web development and marketing and all these things, but um, people don't always have the best experience with that or they run into issues with time zone issues and trying to communicate on a decent schedule. Um, so not, not all freelancers are the same and they don't all cost the same. And I'd, I'd really advise you strongly to watch out for um, you know, something that seems like too much of a good deal. Uh, Cause there are uh, cheap options out there for freelancers or agencies, but in our experience, uh, you really do get what you pay for in a lot of cases. And just like a, a haircut, you can get the $20 haircut or you can get the hundred dollar haircut. <laughs> but um, Ali, I'll, I'll hand that one over to you. What makes, <laughs> <laughs> what makes that different? Well, I mean, Chris, if you go get a $20 haircut, <laughs> you're going to get a less experienced um, uh, stylist who doesn't really take into consideration, you know, the texture of your hair, might not listen to your story and understand, like, what your uh, daily needs are for your hair, if you like to wear it up in a ponytail because you run all the time, or if you like to wear it down because you have to go into an office every day. Um, versus if you go to a high-end salon, they're going to listen to you. They're going to listen to your story. They're going to listen to your needs and come up with a haircut, you know, or a style that, that suits you and, and fits you. And it's, it's actually, it's a great analogy because it's, it's uh, just like using us. You know, we are the experts and um, we can create a website that suits you and that fits your needs and your users' needs. So it's the same sort of thing. Absolutely. And I think one of the biggest benefits is the experience. You get to leverage our experience and all the other projects that we've worked on. So we have so much history that, you know, that, that gets reflected in the, you know, the consulting process that emerges in the discovery process and in the in quality of, of, of what it is that we built. Right. You don't want somebody cutting your hair that's doing it for the first time, or at least I don't. That's right. <laughs> And, and the twenty dollar haircut is for some people, and that's the same. Yeah. Thing. Some people it would make a lot of sense to ship your product overseas, have it have it done as cheap as possible, or hire a local developer because what you're looking for can be done by that. Or it's just your budget; you just don't have the budget to to go to the high end salon and get the best haircut you possibly can. And that's kind of where it goes back to who's it not for. Mm -hmm. so the discovery session or our development work isn't for the twenty dollar haircut type people that just need to get something done. And maybe that's maybe you'll we'll meet again because this is an MVP. You've got to start somewhere. But what we focus on is, like you said, we want to be technology partners with you. Um, we're always innovating. We're always pushing ourselves to be the best at what we do, and we are the best at what we do. So when it comes time to build a learning management system on WordPress, or it comes time to 
build an application or a website that's going to have a lot of viewers or a lot of data, we're, we're professionals in, in that realm. We can, we can do it right. And um, just going back to my favorite analogy, the haircut analogy again, if you do invest in a good haircut, um, you know, you might not need to get your haircut every four weeks because the hairdresser knows that, you know, he knows how to style it and knows how to cut it so that it will grow out well. So, you know, knows how to, how to do it right the first time. Absolutely. It's not something fragile that's just put together. Right. It's, it's made just like a, a solid constructed building to last mm -hmm. and stand the test of time. And if right. you want to add on to it later, you can't. Right. Um, exactly. Speaking of, uh, of haircuts and our, our analogy here, uh, one of the things that we get feedback on is um, for, from our clients is just how friendly and approachable we are. And we like to have fun, just like right here, we're talking about haircuts. And um, you can also see our faces. A lot of web development and design agencies like to pretend that they're bigger than they are and put up, you know, fancy office buildings and things on their, on their website. But, um, you know, we like to, as a technology partner, we also like to be the kind of people that you enjoy interact with. We, we don't want to be like the dentist that you're, you're never look forward to going to. We, a lot of our clients we meet with weekly and um, we, we enjoy our calls and we have, we have, um, good connection with each other and, and, and care about our clients above and beyond just the website or just another project. So um, do you guys have anything you'd like to add to that? I, I think that's absolutely true. I mean, we're, you know, we, we have a lot of fun working together as a team on Codebox. And I think that we're, you know, that gets um, translated to our relationships with our clients because we have a lot of fun working with them too. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's we love what we do. That's the big part of it. Right. Like we we everybody on the team is obsessed with websites and internet technologies and and technology in general. We're we're all just a, a bunch of people that love that stuff. So we we really get into working with clients that also love that stuff. If, if you're in, if you're looking to innovate, that's what that gets everybody excited on the team. Yeah. So when we have a client come to us and they want to do something that hasn't been done before or they want to do something better than what they've seen. We love that. We love a good challenge and, and we just, we work with them, refine it, figure it out and just build it to the best we possibly can. And we have a blast doing it. Absolutely. And we celebrate the success of our clients. We like to, it, what I like to say is your success is our success. So when you do a launch of your membership site or your, your course or whatever your application or platform is and you have a successful launch where you earn way more than it costs to develop uh, the thing we celebrate that we celebrate the success of our clients and are invested in it the better you do uh, you know that's better for all of us it means it's working and and everything is is paying off and we're getting the most value out of the project as we can yeah well and yeah. that, that kind of goes back down to the whole who do you want to work with? Because what we've found when you, when you decide you're going to get into the learning management space, or you're going to get into membership, you're going to do a custom site, you're going to do something innovative. That's not a one stop thing. You're not going to have us build it and then you're done and you can just manage it forever. That's a lifelong partnership. And that's what we strive to build is, is trust with you from the initial project and ongoing trust and, and that we know what we're doing and that we can help you refine your vision and, and keep your product innovative. And that's a big thing is working with you forever because you'll, we'll be, we'll be hanging out every week if you're, if you're successful and you're, and you just want to keep innovating. Yeah. And that's my favorite part of the week actually is talking to our clients and hearing what they've been up to and talking about their, their sites and what new projects we have coming up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, if this is resonating with you and you'd like to move forward, go ahead and click the button below this video and invest in your discovery process. That's at gocodebox.com forward slash discovery dash session. If you want to jump on a quick phone call and have some pre-sales questions about the discovery process or just things you want to get ironed out before you move forward, uh, go ahead and click the other button where you can schedule a call for that. And we're gonna just, we're just gonna talk about one more thing before we close out this video. And that's 
really how to get the most out of a discovery call. So let's assume you're still here and you see the value in uh, co-creating your project in the early phases and avoiding mistakes and leveraging our expertise and saving your time. And we're, we're moving forward with the discovery process. How do we get the most out of that? Well, I think some things that come to mind for me is to really present, we may not know your exact business and what you're trying to do with your web application to best benefit your business. So you need to educate us a little bit on who your customer is or your ideal customer and how your business is work, works or how it's going to work or what the problem we're going to be solving is and what is your vision, your short-term, your medium-term, your long-term vision. Those things are really helpful uh, to, you gotta educate us a little bit so that we can discover a little bit about you and really invest in your story and your goals and what you're trying to accomplish. So that's, that's one thing that um, I would really recommend is to you know, treat us with a beginner's mind and, and tell us what you're trying to do. Um, my number one thing, uh, or the number one way I think that you can get the most out of your discovery session is really um, thinking about what your budget is and being honest with us about it. Because um, when um, clients are hesitant to share their budget with us, uh, it, it hinders our ability to be able to be creative and and come up with a plan that that fits your needs So I think that's the number one thing um, that's helpful. Yeah, that's difficult because obviously And maybe it's people they've worked with before or it's just a preconceived notion that sharing their budget means we're gonna try to maximize Right maximize the project to their budget, but what it really does is it helps us wrangle in their vision because you can take any concept and you it could be wide ranged and if we don't know what your budget is and you're telling us all these things you want to do you're going to get shocked when we come back and tell you how much the project's going to be but if you tell us what the budget is through the entire discovery process we'll be working with you in those means talking about that is a killer idea but maybe that's gets pushed to v2 while we work on this or all this is way below what you're even estimating i think so we have, we've seen both when, and we, what we've seen is we get a lot more out of it when the customer does share it. And mm -hmm. we don't always go to, up to their budget. Sometimes they do realize that they need to come back later when their budget's better. And sometimes their budget's beyond what we even need to charge them to get something done. So it just helps us understand what we're working in. Yeah, and that's one of my favorite things about working with Mark, actually, is he loves a challenge and he's really creative. So if I tell him, you know, this client has a, and I'm just making up a number here, it's uh, like a $15,000 budget, but they wanted to do X, Y, and Z. Mark is really good at figuring out, okay, well, this is what they can do now, but maybe we can roll this feature out later and just trying to work with them. Um, it, just, it just makes the process much more efficient for everybody, I think, and, and everybody's much happier with the result. Absolutely. The, yeah. Yeah. And if, if you don't have, maybe you don't have a budget and you have a budget range, we can work with right. that range as well too. Right. So that's a really good one. And then the, I think the, the other one that I just throw out there is to really allow us to leverage our strengths in the conversation and let us come in and help uh, create the, the best options or unpack your story based on our experience, um, our technical experience and also our experience with other clients with what we've seen works, what we've seen that doesn't work. So really leverage our, our, expense, our experience, ask our opinion, um, and, and try to get the most value out of us as well. well it, yeah, absolutely. Well, if this is resonating with you, uh, if you're not there already, go ahead and head on over to <laughs> gocodebox.com. And there's two options on the discovery page, which is at gocodebox.com forward slash discovery dash session. You can invest in your, you can click the button and buy your discovery session start and then we'll get that on the calendar and get rolling on your project or if you'd like to set up a quick call to to kind of discuss what what you have in mind and get your questions answered we're happy to do that as well okay so thank you for checking us out at gocodebox.com forward slash discovery dash session and after that if you want to connect with us on social media you can find us on facebook and twitter over to you, Allie, where, where are those at? And Instagram. Yeah. Uh, on Facebook, you can um, like our page, which is 
code box um, and on Twitter our handle is um, go code box. Go code box. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and uh, Instagram we're code box picks. So. Awesome. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of LMS cast and we look forward to catching you in the next one.